In this video, I will show you how to create a thank you page in WordPress. So for example, as you see, let's say I fill this form and then submit. You will see a message like, thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. Now, in a thank you page, you would have seen the thank you actually showing or you would have seen the URL would have changed at this place. And the importance of a thank you page is to help you track that someone has actually submitted a, a form uh, on your website. And why do you need to track? Let's say you are running an advert and you may want to detect or you may want to track how many people have filled the form on your uh, website from the advert that you have created. So in that case, you actually need a thank you page so that you can track people who have filled the form. Now, um, let me just show you how exactly you can do that. Because if the URL doesn't change, you will never know that someone has filled the form. It will be difficult for you to track that action has taken. And this is how you would do it. You come to your WordPress admin dashboard. Um, then you scroll to um, pages. Where is pages? Okay. So you go to pages, then you click on add new page. So it will ask you for the title of the page. Then you click on thank you. You type thank you. So that's the title of the page. Then you can click publish here. After you click on publish, You click on edit with Elementor. And when you go to Elementor, now um, one thing you can do is to delete or to eliminate the header and the footer. When you are creating a thank you page, you see thank you page does not, it is not a page that will be among the menus. It will not be among the menus. It is just a page that when someone fills the form that it will, um, redirect the person to that particular link. So in that case, some people normally don't want to put the header and the footer. And so in that case, you can come to the settings and then go to um advanced. You come back to the general settings and come and check on page layout, okay? Then you will see default. And then we have Elementor Canvas. So if you choose Elementor Canvas, so for example, you see that one, it will remove the, the header and the footer. It will just be an empty page where you put only the information for the thank you page. If you don't want that, you can just come back and then you go to the page layout and choose the default. With the default, the header and the footer will still be there. Only that this place, they will just the URL will change, and then you also put whatever information you want to appear here. So for now, I want to leave it in this particular um, interface. Then you will come here, and then click on the plus. Choose the layout, how you want it to actually look like. And then, um, so for example, let's say we want to choose this particular layout. I don't want to really use this layout. So I'll just undo it. And then let me just come here. So I'll come to the preview. Um, no. Um, OK, so. I'll just go to the history and then I'll just come back here. Okay. Okay. So I'm about to add. So I just click here. Um I'll add this one. This is a simple layout. 
Then I'll just come here. I want to add a heading. So I want to make the message to be something like message submitted. Submitted. And then I just center align it. And then I'll come here. Um I want to add another text box or some description or something like this. Then I'll come here. And copy this message earlier on. And then come here. I want that message to be here. And then again, I want it to be center aligned. So it will now look like message submitted. Thank you for contacting us. We will be in touch with you. I'll make it within 24 hours. within 24, within 24 hours. And then I want to add an image. So again, I'll add something like this. And then come here and add an image box. We'll just come here. I didn't get the image I want, so I want to undo this step. And then, um, let me just come here and go to the previous one. Good. So I'll come here, I'll rather add an icon list. So icon list, good. Okay, okay, Um, either icon list or even icon. So I will add the icon because it's not really going to be a list. So with the icon, I'll just tap here and then come. You see, we have icon library. So I can choose the one I want. Um, I want the check mark, check mark. Good. This is the one I want. Then I now want to go to the style to edit it change the color to what I want. Oh, good. So you see, it has changed to the color, the blue, which I selected. I also want the size of it to be increased a bit. So I'll increase the size here. Um, the color has just vanished again. Good. So I'll now update it. So when I update it, this is how it's going to look like. Message submitted. Thank you for contacting us. Uh, we will be in touch with you within 24 hours. But this particular one is looking so small. So let me increase it a bit. So um, top this one, um, we click on it. We come to this part. And then um, we'll go to the style. Um, go to the advance. And then scroll down. Part because I wanted to say go to style, but I say go to advanced. Okay, so you go to style 
and then scroll down and you see size. So you click on the size and drag and increase it along. So something like this is okay. So it will now read like message submitted. Thank you for contacting us. We'll be with you. We'll be in touch with you within 24 hours. But this particular part is not supposed to be there. So I'm, I'm deleting it. So I'll delete it so that it will be like this. So we can go to preview and look at how it will look like on mobile. So I'm going to mobile. Then, yeah. So this is how it will look like. Message submitted. Thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you within 24 hours. So I'm updating the changes. Now, go to your contact form, which you want to track when someone submits a form. So for this particular tutorial, I am using contact form 7. Contact form 7. I will leave a link in the description of this video so that if you, are, if you don't have contact form 7, you can follow that tutorial and be able to... Um, you will have an interface like this so that you can follow the process well. You can also use it. It is a similar procedure with other contact forms, but you may be confused. That's why I'm saying that if you want to use contact form seven. Okay, so you come to the contact form, and then under the form, okay, you scroll down. And then you paste this particular code. And this code, um, I will leave a link in the description of this video so that you can follow to copy the same thing for your website. The only thing you have to do is here where you see example.com, your business name is or your website um, name is supposed to be there. So for example, so for this one, I'm just going to I'm just going to copy this website. And then Come and then put it in place of the example. Make sure you remember to add slash thank dash you. Make sure that one is added. If it is not added, you will have problem. Okay, so when you are done with that, you come and click on save. Now, so what we have basically done is that we are saying that any place this form is submitted, it should end with a thank you page. It should it should redirect us to the thank you page. Now, let's go and fill a sample form and see whether it will direct us to the sample page or not, the thank you page. Now, when you come to, um, this is the form. So I'm submitting it. Um, continue to say, let me refresh it. Good. So it has just brought me to the thank you page. It says, um, message submitted thank you for contacting us we will be in touch with you within 24 hours and you see this is exactly the design that i put there so if you follow the procedure it will take you exactly to this place where you'll be able to um create your thank you page thank you for watching remember to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and like this video leave your comments in the comment section if you have any problem I will uh, follow up to help you get a solution. We also offer digital marketing and web design solutions where you can reach out to us and we help you get a solution to whatever problem you have. Once again, thank you and see you in the next the, the, the next video.